In Bootstrap 5, we have a handful of gradients available to us for various components. Let's have a look at what those are and how you can enable them. The first thing to point out is that you have to have Bootstrap set up locally. And by that I mean, you must be able to recompile Bootstrap SAS. If you're using just the CDN version of Bootstrap, then you won't be able to do some of what we're gonna do in this video. Now I'll put a link on screen to a video of mine where I talk you through how I set up the site that I'm using in this video. Okay, firstly, let's look at backgrounds. By default, you don't have to do anything in terms of SAS to use Bootstrap Gradients. In front of you, I've just got the straightforward BG background utility class all the way through to BG transparent. To use gradients, all I have to do is add the BG-gradient class to any one of these backgrounds. So in my code editor, for this BG primary, I'll just make this a gradient. I'll save my changes. And now you can just about notice that faint gradient. And if we right click and inspect that, we'll find out that it's this BS-gradient CSS variant. So that's it, out of the box, that's waiting for you for your backgrounds. And it means that if you're not compiling your SAS, if you are using the CDN, then this option is available to you as well. However, there's more. If you have a look inside of the docs, do a search for gradients and go to this options, enable gradients. If you set this to true in your SAS, then there's a couple of additional options. So let's set that to true now. Now again, the vital part here is that you override SAS variables correctly. So I've got this variable set up. I'll save that. And now there's two components I want to show you here. First of all, let's look at the buttons. I'll paste this in just below my backgrounds. And there you go. Gradients now automatically applied. However, Whereas with the backgrounds, that was effectively opt-in per background by adding the BG gradient. With the buttons, it's now either opt-in globally or not. So the moment we enable those gradients through our SAS variable, which is that variable right there, gradients are now automatically applied to a handful of components. Buttons are one, and the other one to look at are alerts. So I'll copy these default alerts and I'll paste them in just below my buttons. And there you go, again, very faint, but it is there, and if I right click, there's that same BS gradient that's used for the backgrounds, for the buttons, and for these alerts. And that's it, it's as simple as that for you to enable or disable bootstrap gradients.